Hi guys, it is Friday, February 28th, and in lieu of the new Diablo patch, I'm gonna walk you through what changed. So, let's hop to it. Alright, so, um, this is the new interface. Now, none of the campaign has really changed very much. Um, obviously that will change when, um, Reaper of Souls actually comes out on the 25th, but I'll give you kind of a quick rundown of what changes. So, uh, auction house is more or less dead because all legendaries are, uh, yeah, all legendaries now are uh, bind on account. So it's only really for recipes and mats. But all of the mats have changed too. All the health potions have changed, etc. So where are we here? Uh, no, that's not what I want. Here we go, clan. So this is uh, the clan that. My husband and I and our friends all are in. It's called the Whimsy Shire Tourists, because why not? Um, I don't really know the bonuses of a clan. I think it's just fun, I would assume. And how do I open this? Okay. Community ship. Okay. So these are how achievements work. Um, it's the same generally, except that now there are not. Um, different difficulty achievements. It's just to finish um, so here you can see like these ones are all feats of strength now. Um, on all the difficulties because there's difficulties don't work like that anymore. Um, it took me a little bit to kind of understand how this all worked. Um, so I'm gonna kind of talk you through it, so, but just to kind of show you now, so, uh, campaign. So I still need to kill all the bosses because they've changed it. Oh, that's new. Okay. Um, etc. So this is all... It's not done by difficulty anymore, and again, I will, I will explain that in a minute, and then there's the new Act 5, which is what the expansion is for. They introduced new Adventure Mode. So, Adventure Mode is a new option now. This is the main screen you'll get when you first log in, and it doesn't unlock until Reaper of Souls comes out, um, but it's a different way to level once you've played through the story. So what happens is, you play through the story, Act 1 to Act 5, and you'll finish around level 3540. Now to get to level 70, you can replay it on harder difficulties. So we have normal, which is the baseline, but the monsters, it's not like it was before with um, normal, nightmare, hell, and inferno. Um, the monsters scale with your level, but it's how much damage they're doing, um, the health, how many affixes they have for rare enemies, etc. So this is the baseline. Hard gives you extra gold and extra experience. Well, it's extra experience bonus, so we don't really know what that means yet. And then uh, blood shards, I, I mean, those are enchanting mats. Um, so if you just think this is for yeah, so this is for camp. This is for adventure, the bounties, and then master. Imperial gems can drop from monsters level 61 and higher. And Torment. Uh, new legendary items become available at level 70, which is the cap. And additional gold experience and legendary drop rate per slider tick. So this is increased. So if you do Torment level 6, you're getting 1600% extra stuff. Um, so that's how that works. I'm on Master right now, and... With the gear that I have, it's pretty good. I've already gotten a couple upgrades, which is kind of insane. They've also implemented um, smart drops. So the gear that drops is better suited to your class because you can't trade and sell off legendaries anymore. Well, I guess you can still trade them with friends, but essentially that's how it's working. So this part, the, they've made it a lot more like Diablo 2 in that sense. So you, if, you really, if you're really going for gear, you're really grinding for it, which is really nice. Um, we'll go okay. And then, um, so adventure mode... Uh, is another way to level if you don't want to play through the campaign over and over again and it gives you um, different things to do in different parts of the game. So we will, let's see here, what else has changed? Uh, well, let's resume game and I will show you. 
Oh, Paragon Levels are the other one. So Paragon Levels um, are what happened when you hit max level, but now they are account-wide. Um, so I assume that you can constantly get them as you're playing, so it'll slowly build towards it, but as of right now, it's I'm maxed out. So your Paragon Levels are um, account-wide, and they net you... Skills. Here we go. Okay, so you go to character and you go to paragon and you get points. So you can see I've put in uh, five points. Every paragon level gets you a point and I'm at level 20. So I have five here, five here, five here, and five here. So it just goes goes core, then, offense, then offense, then defense, and utility, then core, then offense, then defense, and utility. It just keeps cycling through. There's no cap to Paragon levels, which is really, really nice. So you can do this for quite a while. Um, and then you put them in wherever you like. So these, <coughs> this stat um, will depend on what, you, what you're playing. So um, that's the other thing. The points are character, so the levels are account bound, but the points are character specific. So here you can see I have dexterity, vitality, movement speed, my maximum hatred. Um, all of these are the same. Attack speed, cooldown reduction, crit chance, crit damage. Life armor resist all life regeneration. And then area damage, resource cost reduction, life on hand, gold find. But the core stats, the top and the bottom ones, will change depending on what you're playing. So barbs will have strength, um, witch doctors, and uh, sorcerers. Yeah, witch doctors and sorceresses will have uh, intelligence, and monks and demon hunters will have dex. Um, and then this one is whatever resource you're using, and then uh, demon hunters only get hatred, we don't get... Uh, discipline but this is the one we mostly use so that's fine um, but if I were to log on to a different character these would all change and the points I could redistribute however I liked um, which is really really handy when you're leveling alt so if you get one to 60 or as when the expansion will come out the case will be 70 um, you can log on to another character having reached whatever paragon level and just plug in a bunch of points to make Robert them a little bit stronger the boy you can be oh thanks um, and you can reset them and change them at any time if you want to try other things. Some of the skills were changed, um, but the main idea is the same, and you get another passive at 70. I'm assuming that's par. Everyone gets one at 70. I'm assuming the passives are all the same. Um, oh, okay, so the other things that have changed. Health potions are now universal. Um, and uh, so they restore, it's just called health potion, and they restore six, immediately, instantly restores 60% life. Instantly. So, um, 30 second cooldown, same as before as far as I know, but uh, no more number amounts. So health potions, you don't have to worry about switching to different ones. You can constantly do that. So I had stockpiled a whole bunch, so now I've got tons which has been fun. And then enchanting mats are the other one. Um, everything is now exquisite essence and iridescent tears and I just got common debris. Okay, so this is when you salvage other stuff. I have no idea what this is for. Obtained by using the blacksmith to salvage normal weapons and armor. Oh, okay. Yep. All right, so that's another enchanting map. I don't really know what it's going to be used for, but gems are all the same. Um, and rares now no longer you don't no, you longer no longer have to identify them, but you do still have to identify legendaries. Um, but legendaries have a higher chance to drop now, um, and their stats will be more geared towards you, which is really really nice. Um, and I think that is it. The only other new thing that's coming out is um, there's the new vendor which is the mystic and it's for transmogrifying so there's like in wow you can transmog your gear to look like something else now you'll be able to do the same with the mystic um, 
So if we go to the blacksmith, I had everything maxed out, but now there's new stuff and I need to find this. So I need to disenchant some reproof souls and stuff. And the jeweler, oh, I can't go through. Anyway, jeweler's the same, he's got more enchanting recipes and whatnot. So that is pretty much everything that has changed. Um, relatively speaking, it's all pretty much the same. They've fine-tuned it, in my opinion, made it better. And obviously, we've got a lot of new stuff to look forward to with the expansion. And the expansion comes out on the 25th of March, which is a Tuesday. Go figure. It's always a Tuesday with Blizzard. And, um, yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So you can pre-purchase it now. Um, when you pre-order it, if you get the fancy-schmancy digital deluxe one, um, you get a treasure goblin pet in WoW, which is really exciting. You get, um, you unlock a specific character in Dota, the Dota game, which is uh, Heroes of the Storm. Um, you get a couple items within Diablo itself, so it's pretty exciting. Um, I don't know when you get the, when you actually get the treasure goblin pet, but I'm really excited to find out because I think that's going to be really fun. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Diablo, guys. Um, I'm really excited about this. I never really was into Diablo before, and uh, I tried Diablo 2 way before, and I thought it was just really bad, and then... I talked with, uh, when this one came out, I said I would try it, and I really fell in love with it, so now you know I'm going back and playing Diablo Not 2. It's been a lot of fun. It is not too late to see yeah, this Yeah, essentially, that's what's new, so I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I'm debating when it comes out of streaming myself playing it, so we'll see if I came here to study that works. The fall of old Tristram. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.